Morning everyone to our weekly update, uh, week 24 um, and what are we? I think we've got one, maybe two weeks left um, of 2023-24 financial year so getting pretty close to moving into that new financial year which is pretty exciting so we've cleared all our auction stock for June and we're now looking at listing our auction stock for July pretty exciting um, everything's exciting at the moment sorry about that uh, yes it's why why are the auctions selling why do we have buyers around why are we sitting at very close to 5 million um, uh, Google clients we have changed our direction which you've probably uh, seen um, with our stock and it really comes back to we 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 uh, stopped and looked at 2023 and why we were getting uh, some really good buyer inquiry buyers bidding and yet a number of vendors weren't listening to what the market was saying so it came back to stock selection unfortunately and um, that's hard to hear as an agent that I was selecting some of the wrong stock to go through to auction and really that came back to the motivation of the vendors and more so than the, the actual stock itself the motel or the hotel so it came back to we were getting very good offers and uh, vendors simply weren't listening to us as professionals um, case in point uh, a couple of pubs that uh, are still on the market and uh, now looking at substantially less money but can't even get that so interesting with that um, with uh, my coach um, guiding me through that process and we are now selecting much better quality vendors um, that are they do have a plan to move on and uh, uh, listening to what the market's saying and that's probably a very important part of the process where where the market is sitting and and there's a lot of conjecture out there at the moment um, what's happening and why are Victorian uh, hotels and motels selling um, quicker than what New South Wales are and I think it's a realization that the uh, education down there is a, a, a lot different that they're not looking to um, make a million dollars or this wrong phrase but to make all their money out of the sale of their motel or hotel they're willing to listen to the market accept what the market is saying to them and move on so and it's not not too harsh it, it, the market is logical out there at the moment so if you've got a, a good product you're getting good money you're not getting um, the days are gone where people are coming in with with a massive amount of uh, money and no education so your figures have to stack up <laughs> I've been saying this for two years and you must sick of hear, hearing it on my videos but um, we need those certified accounts and they've got to be certified <laughs> they just can't be spreadsheets in Excel so and if you're taking cash out of the business you're not going to get get that money at sale day and that's that's the reality if you're looking at, at selling in two years time you should be putting your cash through from now on and paying the tax so that you get a good sale price or a better sale price so <coughs> that's the reality what are the what are the buyers paying they're paying anywhere between 12 and 18 percent interest rate so they just can't come in and whack a whole whole stack of cash on the on the counter hoping and praying that your books are right so in saying all of that what we're finding why are the auctions selling the auctions are selling because we have the books we have the certified accounts at the start of the process of the marketing process they then take those away to their financial um, 
institutions or accountants to look at and they come back within the, the uh, two or three weeks ready to bid and buy at auction. The buying process, pretty pretty simple, 10% deposit cash in 30 days, that's our terms of, of, of selling. Uh, we're finding that's reasonably clean. We've only had one um, instance where a solicitor stole our commission and that's out of the PIXA transaction. There wasn't a deposit paid. Um, it was meant to be paid, but wasn't. And um, the police are, are following that up. So that's a, a, a case where we were in, actually in the auction process. And, and there's two trains of thought on this that should the property have been sold under private treaty um, the solicitor felt it should have been but in, then again he's the one that stole it allegedly stole stole our commission out of the pixel pixel transaction so we have learned a little bit out of that that situation i suppose solicitors are as desperate as other people out there um, the communication there, there were, there were little signs that in hindsight you look back, you know, we couldn't get, get in contact with him, I was doing a lot of, our, our business was doing a lot of his work for him, so um, we've got to isolate that and move on, and that's what what we've, we've done, and we're helping police along with, with their inquiry there. But anyway, moving straight forward, we are now... Um, listing for the 26th of um, July which is pretty exciting for our next auction and it looks if this trend continues we're not getting our properties to auction which is you know I won't stop a, a, um, a, buy, a vendor going to auction when we've got a good good auction offer on the table so there there we have it so if you're looking at selling and and you're ready to sell you know that's that's imperative and if you've had uh, conditional offers prior they may not be the market value and we found that with uh, one of our properties last year they had a ridiculous um, offer from somebody that had no money you know I qualified them over a period of time and he ended up he had no money um, and it, so what do you do? You know, it's it, they've set a, a level of expectation that was just unrealistic. And uh, a number of such, um, options there that problems with the property and that the market picked that up. So moving, moving right along, we need to stop. We've got buyers. We've got uh, about 97,000 uh, people looking at it at um, our photos and, and things on Google every three days so that's a reality you know that's out in the market have a look at my socials we've we've printed that that's we're not hiding under a brand you know that's that's me that's our properties that's our photos are getting generating that sort of inquiry so what that does is it doesn't necessarily mean that at the start the inquiry comes from your marketing and may come from some other direction but we don't care as long as our mass marketing brings in the buyers willing to pay fair market value and and that's that's what we're driving at the moment so if you've got got something to sell 040 297 0217 0457217925 now um, our optus is back online we're out out in the regions and the optus have upgraded to 5g um, and that's that was meant to go until uh, until the 17th which is next monday but um fortunately enough um Fortunately enough, it's it's uh, already through and back online. But we did do have our Telstra number. Um, 
721-7925-045, I should say. So, and email <coughs> brian at brianmcmanusrealestate.com. So you can get me. I can get, I tend to clear everything about 8.30 at night and uh, around lunchtime. So uh, any messages there. The problem with any messages prior to, Prior to probably um, Friday, if you left anything on the um, 040-297-0217, it didn't get through. So um, it's just one of those those things. Look forward to hearing from you. Give us a call. We can get to you within a day. Uh, we can get the paperwork to get you listed. Um, there's about 17 pages, we'll get that through to you, you get that back, we can then start our processes. Uh, and there's, you know, we did an assessment of a, a property, or I, I brought somebody in, and, and there's something like 81 um, social media ads were put out, videos, reels, posts, over a period of three weeks. Um, and the inquiry is into the hundreds of thousands. So that's the, it's pretty good for a little old um, independent. We're getting close to the 1st of July where we are launching, and um, certainly launching in the Riverina. We're certainly launching into the, uh, back into the farming community. This is all due to demand, so, which is really exciting stuff. We've got some uh, amazing people coming on board and, uh, 2024 20, 25 so give us a bell keep in touch watch your socials watch your videos and if we can help in any any way let us know thanks very much and have a wonderful uh, week 24